today what I'll be showing you is the best settings to export your project on. So to start this, we need to go up to File, come down to Export, come across to Media, then it will bring you up to this screen. So what we'll do is we'll start from the top. Don't worry about match sequence settings, leave that unticked. When it comes to the format, we need to make sure it's on H.264. This is the best uh, format to export your project in. There are various other formats that you can do, MP3, MP4, MOV, but H.264 is the most effective when it comes to quality, when it comes to exporting. Underneath that, you've got presets. At the moment, it's set onto match source high bitrate. That's what we're going to leave it at for this video. But if you do click on it, it has got various presets for Facebook, uh, Twitter, Vimeo, and YouTube. So if you ever want to upload to them platforms, then you can select one of these presets and it will basically make the process of uploading the video onto that website a little bit easier as it will have all of the said requirements that a lot of streaming platforms put out. Underneath that, you've got comments. Leave that blank as well. Output name is highlighted in blue, but what you can do is you can click on that and you can change the exported file name. So I'll change mine to music event. Save that. Underneath that, you've got export video and export audio as two boxes. So make sure they're both ticked. And then underneath this, you get to the basic video settings. Here is where you can change the parameters of your project. So at the moment, obviously it's set at 1920 by 1080. They're sort of generic sort of diameter and widths that you would normally set when it comes to a video. Underneath that, you've got the frame rate and the field order. Again, leave these all as they're currently set. Obviously, TV, you need to make sure that it's set to PAL, depending on what it is. And obviously, NTSC is US, a US uh, video format, but over, over in the UK, we primarily use PAL. Underneath this box, it has Render Maximum Depth. I would say click this box as well. Again, it would add a little bit more to the file size. It might make the export just a little bit longer, but you will notice the you'll notice the results when it comes to exporting your final project. Underneath this, you've got a load of other tabs, encoding settings, master display, color volume, content light levels. You don't need to worry about them. This next one, when it comes to the bitrate settings, make sure that they're just set to VBR with one pass. When it comes to the target bitrate. Is there's there's two sort of things here. If you're shooting anything, if you're only shooting up to 1080p, I would say leave this on t between 10 and 15 at the highest. If you're shooting anything higher than 1080p, I would recommend changing these from 15 or 10 up to 50, even possibly 100, depending on the uh, quality and the file size of the 4K files. And then underneath that, you've got advanced settings and VR video uh, tabs. Again, you don't really need to worry about these unless they are specific to your project, especially the VR one. Like you, the only option it has is you just it just tells the the export that basically the video is VR, so it will basically it will become the export will be compatible for VR headsets, etc., etc. And then the last thing that we want to do before we press that export button, just make sure use maximum render quality is ticked. And again, what that would do, while it's exporting, it's just going to make sure that all the files, all of the codes and everything are going to be perfect for when that final project is exported. And I promise you, with using maximum render quality and using maximum render depth, you will notice the differences. But thank you for watching this tutorial on how to export your projects. I hope that you've liked it, and I'll see you on another tutorial very soon.